hello hello everybody welcome back to my channel today's video i have got two super easy and delicious crock pot recipes for you guys this first one was super delicious this recipe came from the cooking jar i will have her um recipe linked in the description box below this was a new to me recipe and it was really good i did make a couple changes just for our family's preference I went ahead and cooked up a pound and a half of ground beef with some onion and I just put that in the bottom of my slow cooker and then here I'm adding in one jar of spaghetti sauce just would it use whatever your favorite is and then the recipe called for diced tomatoes and if you've been here a while you know we're not huge fans of diced tomatoes um, so I took a jar of stewed like tomatoes and I actually pureed it um, that way there was no chunks and honestly that seemed to work out really good for our texture um, like I said we really enjoyed this recipe um, you also need some Worcestershire and some other seasonings this recipe will be linked down below so you can get exact measurements on everything and I love one of the things I loved about this recipe um, is because it had spinach in it and so it kind of hid and it kind of hid in this dish Winston loved this and he didn't even realize that there was spinach in it um, and I feel like you could also add other veggies like you could add um, mushrooms also if you wanted mushrooms in here um, peppers you could add any veggies you wanted to um, you also need some beef bouillon and you just put both cubes in there you don't add any other um, like water or anything and then you're just going to give that a good stir pop the lid on and let that cook as is for a couple hours and y'all the house smelled so good Here it is after about four hours of cooking and then i just took it the recipe called for frozen thawed spinach but i had fresh in the fridge that i needed to use up it was about to go bad and so i just used that and we don't like the tails so i took the tails off of our spinach and just let that um, cook down for about 30 minutes while you cook up your pasta i used uh, panay but I'm sure you could use any kind that you wanted you're just cook that up according to package directions and then add that into your slow cooker Once I got it all mixed together, I added on some cheese. You can mix it in, but I just put it on top so that way you had like a nice crusty, melty, cheesy top <laughs> whenever you scoop it out. Um, and the recipe did call for like shredded Parmesan, which honestly I wish I had that for this dish, but I just used what I had on hand and the sprinkle parm and mozzarella worked out perfect. Like I said, this was super delicious. We will definitely make this again. And this is a great way to hide veggies in for your kiddos or adults. <laughs> next up we have one of our personal family favorites it is pesto chicken i have this recipe typed out through saffron for you guys so i'll have it linked down below so you can get exact measurements and everything but y'all this is the easiest crock pot meal ever i promise so all you're going to need is five or six boneless skinless chicken thighs just pop those in your slow cooker and then all you need is a jar of pesto this one came from aldi and i'm gonna be honest i did not care for it luke said it was fine but personal preference i probably will not buy this again from aldi i just did not like it the flavor was not as good um, as the um i can't remember the brand i normally get from kroger i'll uh, add a screenshot in 
um, of that one but the one from Kroger I just love it it has it has really good flavor so I'll definitely use that for um, next time but I wanted to try something new and I decided to try the Aldi's pesto but we did not care for it but anyways all you'll do is take that jar of pesto plop it right on top smooth it out and then you'll um, pop the lid on and cook it for about three to four hours that's the best part about cooking um, boneless skinless chicken thighs in the slow cooker y'all it only takes like a few hours for them to cook I didn't even put this on until three o'clock in the afternoon and we ate dinner about 6 30 and here is the chicken once it's all cooked all you'll do is just shred that up and add that onto your noodles of preference we love using like the cheese filled noodles for this recipe. I feel like it just gives it that little creaminess with the inside of the noodles. We really like using the ravioli from Kroger, the frozen ravioli um, cheese filled from Kroger. I picked this up at Aldi to give it a try and y'all I honestly didn't like it. <laughs> I'm just having bad luck with Aldi products I guess because I did not care for that either. But to go along with that I made some easy um, cheddar bay biscuits and I'll have that recipe linked down below for you guys. It's a few ingredients and they are delicious. So for the cheddar bay biscuits all you'll need is some self-rising flour, some mayonnaise, we love Dukes, some milk some garlic powder and some cheddar cheese just mix that together well and plop those on a greased cookie sheet. It makes about six large or it makes 10 to 12 little ones. This time I did little ones and y'all they were so cute and so delicious. So you just bake these in a 350 degree oven for about eight to 10 minutes until they are nice and golden brown cooked through and delicious. So for the noodles, whenever they are cooked and drained, I just always add in some butter, let that melt on the noodles while they're warm, and then I just sprinkle on some of that sprinkle parm, and that's all I do to the noodles. Um, and like I said, we didn't care for these Aldi ones, but this is like a tried and true recipe. So next time, I'll just go back to our normal ingredients that I always use. So once your biscuits come out of the oven, you're gonna take and melt up a half a stick of butter and you're gonna add in some garlic powder and some parsley is optional. Mix that all together and just brush the tops of those biscuits with that melted butter. And y'all, I can't even, these are so delicious. Thank you. 
and here is my plate i've got some of the noodles the chicken over the top with some parmesan cheese and two of those cheddar bay biscuits and that is it y'all i hope you enjoyed these two super easy and delicious crock pot recipes don't forget that i will have all the recipe links in the description box below hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see y'all in the next one bye guys